What's up guys? Welcome back to the shop. It's about time we started to get back to work on Project Twin Snail Mail. So in the last few days I've had multiple of my friends go ahead and send me many other mail trucks that are on airbags and things of that nature. So I'm already late to the party. However, it's time to get this thing up and moving. So we're going to start working on this thing again. Um, Priority number one is to get the floorboard figured out and where everything's going to go. So I started hacking out some of the floorboard here and I think because I'm not going to use this area as a step, I'm going to go ahead and eventually cut this frame out that drops down right here and go ahead and add a frame rail in here and just make it a solid piece of frame. And our new step area, let's see if I can do this here. Got some new sheet metal broke to fit in this area here. Nope, that's upside down. There we go. So this is going to be the new floor area for twin snail mail. So there's no point in having that frame rail drop down. That actually hits the ground when this thing's aired out and doesn't let it lay all the way down. So that's why I want to get rid of that section of the frame right there. Plus having that little uh, drop down the frame is probably a weak spot in the frame. So this is what we're going to go with. This is going to give us the area to put our feet. And so we can put our pedals right here. So that's what we're working on tonight is trying to get this thing uh, somewhat closer to getting the inner fenders in and getting the, uh, the pedals figured out as far as where they're going to go. So that's what we're working on tonight and uh, it's about time we get this thing up and moving again. So let's get to it and let's keep moving forward on the project. Nailed it. So we got these things mocked up in there. Drew a line where I need to bend on this backside. I'll probably try to make this line a little straighter than it is. I don't know why it was so crooked, but that's our line for the left-hand side, the passenger side, and that'll be roughly a 70 degree angle and we'll just bend that flat and there's a little ledge you can sit on in there. All right guys, back here on snail mail. Last time we got the engine stuffed in there and we got kind of some hacking out. I got the uh, forward facing turbo headers on there. We had to modify that just a little bit more than I wanted to, but it is what it is. Same thing with that side wheel well. And then started fabbing up the transmission tunnel that's gonna go through here because we're gonna end up cutting all this floor out right here building braces to come up over to tie the reconnect the subframe or body I guess frame back together body mounts cross members probably cross members is the right word there boy words are hard and then that way we'll have adequate room to access everything all this will be removable and we'll have access to the top side of the transmission if we need to take the lines off disconnect the uh, the rear end So we'll be able to access the U-bolts from up top rather than having to get underneath this thing because it sits pretty damn low to the ground. So 
That is step one for the doghouse and transmission tunnel. We kind of have a welding wire frame in here of how the doghouse is gonna look. We're gonna have to build this thing in six pieces, I think, and we'll just weld these seams. This center section will be its own and then we'll make this one be its own and we'll probably have to do another little kick off over here to fill that area in. This post is gonna get extended to right below this area, dive back at an angle, and then be welded in like right here so that we have a little bit more room to the block and then we can get this out of here and kind of clean up the bay a little bit. So let's go over to the break. We got the uh, 16 gauge and the Kakia Industrials brake. I'm just getting it clamped in here and getting it on the line. Yeah, right there, gotta get it on the line there and uh, we're gonna get this thing cut. that all up this isn't supposed to be a 90 yeah back to the drawing board because I don't think I can squish that out and still have it look good son of a bitch all right we've been doing a lot of thinking a lot of cutting a lot of uh modifying but we got this area opened up the way it's going to be i had to cut the pedal off we're going to relocate that over just slightly and i'm in the process of building this piece here the vertical piece and i got that drawn over here on the bench so what is this 26 and 5 8 by 11. we're going to bend this flat here 90 degrees that'll be our mounting flange this will be the mounting flange that goes to the transmission tunnel It'll be flat at five inches and then it'll jump up to 10 inches over here and then this will be the part that goes behind the pedal and that'll be the part that comes from this angle and runs into this radius part and i figure i'll just get that bent at the 10 inches high and then try to figure out how we're going to box all of this stuff in it's just uh it's a real complicated jigsaw puzzle in there and it's kind of a, a head scratcher so i've been slowly trying to methodically think about this but uh, yeah it's uh it's complex to say the least for a guy like me fast forward God knows how many countless hours, probably 10 hours later. We've got the final pieces welded up. Didn't feel like it was worthwhile putting all that on the time lapse, but we have this thing closed off. Pay no mind to those booger welds. Those all get ground down and dressed up, but the driver's side is pretty darn close to being ready to go. Next is the passenger side, which we will attack that on the next video. So. Thanks for watching guys. That's gonna be a wrap for this one. Uh, that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, there was a lot of complex corners in there, especially by the wheel well. So that being said, it's gonna be a wrap for this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Later.